Hello and we're back for yet another car boot tin. I believe this is episode 16. God, time flies, doesn't it? 16 episodes already. <laughs> so next week we'll be celebrating our 20th episode if I'm going to keep up at this rate. Yeah, good day at the car boot. Um, I will admit it started off a bit slow. Um, I took a risk on something. There was a really good stall, but I saw like loads of people queuing up for it already. And I sort of decided to look around and I managed actually to pick up a good bargain while everybody else was chasing the really good stall. So that was really cool. But actually that stall did look like it had some really cool stuff in it. So it was a risk. Right, so let's go through what we want. This actually was from the really cool school. I went back a lot later and I picked up some PS2 game. He had some really nice stuff. At one point he had a... Um, fully like boxed rob game gear the um, rob from the ness um thing and i was literally looking at it because the guy was like wasn't sure if he wanted to buy it or not and um he eventually did but he said oh don't worry the rob's actually not in there it's literally i'm only buying the box and i mean my collection has got pretty big so i think i have a ness box already i mean i would have loved the rob box but don't get me wrong but yeah i <laughs> i said i would have loved it but i think it may have been good that someone else picked that up because as saying i need <laughs> I definitely running out of room. Right, so let's start us off. Of course, we've got to start off with PS2. We've got second sight, these were quid, X Files, serve, resist, or serve. Never go wrong with the Marvel games, uh, Ultimate Alliance. I think since Disney have come along, they've become a lot stricter what you can and can't do in their games. I know at least at one point you pretty much couldn't have like the X Men characters in the game, they only like wanted the characters that were in the current movies. So that was cool, I picked it up. Right. Picked this up with something else I'll show you later, and I picked this up for a quid. You may remember, um, I picked up a load of these, um, like full. I checked this one, and it looked like it was pretty much full. I think there may be the odd one missing. This was from the season after Arsenal won their most recent league. Yeah, so I picked this up. I see there's some empty ones, but it's it's really quite. That is really cool. It says autographed edition. I presume these aren't actually autographed. I presume they are prints. Yeah, they look like prints. Yeah, they. This sort of period, you can see the Arsenal team literally looked complete. So that is awesome. Another Premier League sticker album. I think that will sort of be like the last one. I mean, I haven't got the 2004 season. If I see ones that I haven't got from earlier on, but I don't think I'm going to really go much later than that. And I think that one knows the collector cards. And I think they, I think they still do the Merlin sticker. Or I don't think it's even Merlin. I think it's called something else now. But um, I really can't be asked with the cards. Cards do look cool. But I'm already into Pokemon. I'm already getting myself into Yu-Gi-Oh. And actually, this stuff I picked up with it. Um, I got another one. There's a Super Monkey Ball one as well. It's the Shadow the Hedgehog mini game i checked it it works even the lady was like oh i was trying them out the other night and they actually work and think how old they are um and there's a monkey ball one as well right let's go through the rest of this it's like another load of quid star wars free indiana jones oh this was a funny stall um i was picking up a l load of stuff from this guy and there was another guy and he was literally almost like snatching games out of my hand um not quite but like very nearly um it was all like fifa xbox one stuff and sort of he went, oh, how much? And he's like, oh, he sort of said quid. And then he saw he had Xbox One. He went, oh, no, those ones are like three pounds. He literally sort of chucked like the games back on the table. And the guy just told him off. It was really funny. He wasn't a very pleasant man. So it was funny. Um, some random PC stuff that I think I was picking up for like 50p. Puppy Love. Barbie Dance Game. I thought it was a dance, like Groove Game. Just like picking up my random PC crap when it's that cheap. I mean, this was a Dogs 5 and the Worms Reloaded Game of the Year edition. I love Worms. It's one of the best games ever. So any times, even if I see those newer 3D ones, I always pick it up because I love Worms to pieces. One of my all-time favourite video game franchises. I found this really interesting. I found this randomly. And I was like, I saw the EA at first. And I was like, oh, it's just some random golf game. And I sort of noticed the more sort of anime design you say swing away golf i believe this is the first everybody golf but this is when it was sort of licensed by ea and it was called swing away golf um i've never seen it before i haven't even looked it up i'm assuming it's not even worth anything but i just found that interesting so um this is like from a big pile i picked up papa near that just looked like a really cool game i got some really cool stuff from this guy as well my pet dolphin you never go wrong with a dolphin as a pet I think this is like a big pile of stuff I paid 
like £12 for. I think I like paid a quid for this. I'm a celebrity, another quid. Grand Auto. See a lot, see a little of a theme. Superman, that was a quid from earlier. Bat Lego Batman, another quid. Just Dance 2, quid. Knight Rider, I'm pretty sure I may have paid. I mean, I've paid, I got a bundle for that lot. I think it was like a nine pound bundle. Micro Machine, our favorite price again. It says four pounds, I paid a quid. I paid two pounds for this, but it's good. The new Super Mario Brothers, because always good trade bait. At CEX, you get yourself a nice little something there. So I picked this up. This is when everybody was like, still trying to storm this really good stall. I sort of went to one side, I sort of picked up. I'll show you, um, the other really good thing I got from this store that he just had a load of random video games like totally from different consoles from different eras and he just said oh I just found these in a DVD box so he was doing them for a really good price that's like two pounds and I think I paid ten pounds like for the rest of his pile so I got Gran Turismo that had checked this in there that literally minty fresh except for the crack that you can see like look everything's in there I just don't want to break it Ugh. That's cool. Plenty of fresh, and it has a bike on it. <laughs> right now, my bag is deciding to die. Now, this is what I picked up from the guy for a quid. Now, these are US releases, but I do have a hat 3DS. So, guys, just be really careful when you're buying 3DS because I was talking to Luke about this. I was saying US games do not play on UK ones, and it does take a while to hack them. So you got your Ninja Turtles, Lego City Chase, and this was the good thing I got from that pile. I got the Ratchet and Clank reboot, or the Ratchet and Clank O-Force. I'm looking forward to the new one, that new one they showed on the PlayStation 5 thing. I will admit I've not really ever played a Ratchet and Clank name, but I think I'll start on that new one. But I got that nice sealed one there. I'm just trying to get to the lesser stuff before I get to the main event. Another. Four pound, but I paid a pound. Um, got the Super Monkey Ball little handheld, so that was like really good. That football sticker book. Um, not Pokemon cards. A lovely tint of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I do like Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit. Um, but oh, I think these may even be French. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I'll take a peek in there, but I just look, it was five and the tin is full. Doesn't even matter, their bootleg, it's just, tin's nice. It's not from the original, unfortunately, but it is very near. It's the second one, the one they're all in the academy. Um, Just Dance again, because I've never ever picked up Just Dance, and they go for a lot more now. I think they go for, like, even the first one goes for five. I know it could go back down, but hey. Um, I got this because this reminds me of my childhood. I remember this from Disneyland Paris. Oh, oh there's more than one in there. Okay. Um, the animated storybooks. I remember this being in Pizza Planet in Disneyland, um, like on the PCs in French. And oh, there's a few. They got the activity pack as well. I'm not sure what else. So I'm just trying to I think I'll put that in there. So we've got the storybook, the activity pack. I think that's it. Oh no, I think there's one more. No, no. And the CD ROM. So I've actually got everything I've here. I paid £2 for that, so that's really cool. I've got all the Toy Stories, like my favourite film as a kid. The first one. And is that just that? Oh, another thing I picked up from that £10 bundle, plus that £2 being on top for that Mario Girl saw at the end. You just can't go wrong with sealed stuff, the sealed PSP stuff. And I believe we're just on to the big find. So, of course... It was big today. I literally found treasure. I was just double checking there's nothing that's fallen out. Right. So I, sh I try to show the best way of showing everything. Oh, yeah, I'll show it like this. Right. So we we're at a store and we heard the word DS. And we're like, oh, DS, because me and Luke were there. Luke is another guy at the car boot who's also looking at video game stuff. We turned around and there was a guy and he had had it in his hand and you know it happens I mean freaking hell like Luke I mean of course Vinegar Jar even goes this I, I've literally just gotten there he's just got stuff before me and you know they're normally 
you know, we asked how much it is. They may occasionally try to barter. But they normally know if they want it. They normally, they pay straight away. Um, they know what stuff is worth. So we get it and he's like, there's two DSs. And I think sort of the woman sort of wants £35 for it. And I think he just sort of pulls out the two DSs and he's a bit like, oh, how much would you just take for like the two DSs? He's like 25, but you're going to get all that other stuff with it. And at first, we just literally thought it was a tin, so we could understand why he was kind of doing it. And he just just he went, went on, he went on a good five minutes. And he was just literally got to the point, and we were sitting there going, put it down, put it down. You don't want it, mate. You don't want it, mate. We, because there was one DS that I hadn't had in my collection, and I was like, I don't mind. There was actually a lot of nice tins with it. And I happened to find this on the floor. So I was like, oh, take my opportunity here. And then there's, to this point, there was actually another guy sort of looking for stuff. He said, oh, that, this DS stuff and that guy's got it. So I thought, come to the lady, I sort of said, I looked inside and I think there was like one game in there. And I sort of say, like, look, how much for your DS tin? Because I've never seen one of these and these look really nice. You know, this is something I'd happily pay like a tenner for all day because they probably don't make it. It's an official one. And she's like, oh, you see, I kind of want to do the whole lot for a bundle. Like 35 quid this and literally it's your point to all the stuff he's holding. And I just sort of turned around and it's just by this point this guy was taking the piss. And I said, oh, I'll do 35. <laughs> and the guy B. Govendry just gave just gave it over to me. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Um, so we sort of started, me and Luke started looking through. So this is what I really wanted from the bundle. Was, oh, I didn't even notice there was a game in there. So brain training. And is that a, yeah, that's just the normal thing. It is, I have I think I got a broken one of these, but I haven't got a working one of these. So, unfortunately there's no chargers, but I can sort that out upstairs. But I know this is like a harder variant to get, because I got the red one. I actually won it at Summer of Sonic all them years ago, when it was actually a new console. So, I was happy with that. So, there was another bigger tin it came with. And we just thought, oh look, there's like another DS and there was like a random box game in there. So this is our pink DS. I haven't even checked. That doesn't have a game, but it does have the nice pink. So that's cool. We got two DSs. Because literally, back, uh, the A3 car boot, I was picking these up for Fiverr when I first started going. Just nobody wanted them. And just all the stores I have would be like, how much do you guys always just be at Fiverr? Like, I just went through a whole stage of picking up at not hill i just would always pick up i always come out with about three ds's and then no in a way in that hill they, they said anything more than a fiber i was like yeah and it was all the different colors it wasn't just like the same colors it was never like the older one it was never ones like this i know this is the color variant it was always the light and i always every time there's nobody would really care and i always and i sort of said that i said like, i'm picking these up so i know this is a makeup and we literally sort of open this up not realizing and we're like, what? What? And it, it, Luke was the first thing he picked up. I was like, wow, I love these like random bootlegs. And literally, we're just looking through them and we're just like, oh, that's a good, like, that's worth it by itself. That's worth it by itself. It's got like everything got Shrek there. And I just noticed there was two Mario Brothers. And I mean, Luke always helps me out. He always gives me tip offs. Yeah, like he gave me a load of tips offs on a, like a thingy. And I said, you know what? There's two Mario's in there. You have one. Don't even have to pay me for it. Like, I know you can do something with that. Like, <laughs> like I got enough Mario's already. So let's see what I got. Like, I got Ice Age 2. I mean, a lot of these seem to be a more, like, new Super Mario Brothers. Pokemon Pearl. That's a good game. Um, really bootleggy version of Mario Kart DS there. Um, tycoon soon. You can't ever go wrong with the Tycoon games. I think that Dolphin game that I also picked. No, I think that was a slightly different Dolphin game. Oh well. Um, Tinkerbell. So it seems more girly games. Unfortunately, there's no games in there. Um, but 35 quid. This is really good. I love me some GBA games. I'm just really curious what's on here. So I may do a video later. So find out what's on here. And yeah. That was a really cool find. So that was the really cool find. A lot of cool Spider-Man game. You never go wrong with Spider-Man game. Mysterious Menace. So yeah, um, really happy with that. I mean, this does look a bit bootleggy, but still, 
35 quid, two DSs, two lovely tins. I know this is more a makeup tin. Literally, the guy, when I was leaving, there was a guy and he was like, oh my God, you're buying all the makeup today. And I was like, no, 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 this is a DS in here. <laughs> but yeah, no, some good games in there. Um, good games going to my collection. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, that was awesome. So that was a good day at the car boot. He's getting a lot more busy down there. Um, a lot more people after this stuff. Um, I mean, my Sunday one is still chill, but there is more people showing up. So I don't know if it gets too busy. I may stop going on a Wednesday or only go once a week to the main one because I don't like seeing where I go on camera. Um, to my main one. Uh, I mean, it's local, but I'm saying I am working. And, but I'm still getting good stuff. I think it will have to take like two or three times of me literally coming back with nothing for me to stop only going once a week but yeah so that was a good pick up um hope you enjoyed please give us a like subscribe dislike you won't give us a comment what have you picked up yeah but i said some really cool stuff here um i may go through those Yu-Gi-Oh cards later and i may go through that bootleg cart to see what's on there but anyway uh thanks for watching and i hope you um have a good boot see you next time bye bye ah, i thought you could get rid of me that easy uh, just quickly, I'm sitting here out in the garden because it's so really hot in the house. Um, yeah, I went through the bootleg car and yeah, it's a good one. Um, the first game it has is like Harry Potter for the Game Boy Advance, but then everything after that is a random NES game. So you've got Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Brothers 1, no number 2, shame, um, underrated game, Mega Man, Mega Man, you never go wrong with Mega Man, Double Dragon, Street fighter 2 that actually is street fighter 2010 castlevania contra force ducktales 2 an absolute classic that's like worth 35 pounds by itself uh metal gear hopefully this is picking it up well um top gun one of the very bad game light force bomberman nicky mouse uh king's night adventure of lulu all three donkey kongs um battle city um, Excite Bike, Formula One Race, Pac Man, Pinball, Popeye, Rouge Fighter, Space Invaders, Star Force, Gallica, Galligan, Golf, Ice Climber, that's a classic, Luna Ball, 1942, Ten Yard Fight, Ninja Kun, Poyaman, Bird Week, Sky Destroyer, B Ring. So these are all like NES ROMs that are just stuck on here. Driver Free Fighter, Pop, Baseball, Acrobat. I mean, just like Mario 3 and DuckTales, two bangers. Oh, I love this game. I had this on like a bootleg, one of those things you'd buy in the mall. <laughs> um, Kari mode, the original Mario Bros. Um, don't know what that is. Raid Ball Bay. I'm trying to like film and do this. Is it? It works. So the first one is just Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter Game Boy Advance game. Battle Tank. So you've got to get into more of the filler titles at the bottom. Dr. Mario, that's a banger. The original Ghostbusters, Chow, Sunson, Brown Reed, and we're back around Harry Potter. So, just to show you, it works. So, this he just plays the ROM. Press start. Z there. Sounds up. Of course, it's going to be a ROM, there probably will be issues. But yeah, no, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's worth it for 35 quid. And I'm gonna die on the first level. No way, I'm not mad, I'm not going bad gamer, I'm just was quickly showing you. So yeah, that was a really cool find. Um just showing you that it is so hot in the house I just couldn't stay in there. Um yeah, so no repeats, 68 in one. That was really good. I would have paid a nice bit. So yeah, that that was really cool. That was a cool find, as I said. Um Hope you all had a good car boot. Remember, like, subscribe, comment if, if you think this is cool. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.